fight the world, I fight you, I fight myself, I fight God, just tell me how many burdens left, I fight pain and hurricanes, today I wept, I'm trying to fight back tears, flat on my doorstep. YouTube, what is going on? So as you know, by the title of this video, we've got a very exciting one for you today. A highly requested project, super hyped up movie. That is right, we're making some claws from the movie, The Black Panther. So many people and just tons of my previous videos have commented this, um, requesting this build. And the reason for me not doing it in the past is the challenge of making the claws and especially making them retractable. Like that's pretty hard to do. Generally when I do harder builds, I just spend a lot of time making them and then put out one video and then no one watches it. But I think I figured out a good way to tackle this build. So in this video, I'm going to be making some prototype claws. That's kind of how I want them to look cosmetically. They're gonna be functional and I'm planning on 3D printing them. So I'll leave the STL file down in the description if you wanna go download them. Plan this out a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be very challenging of a build. So if you have a 3D printer, you can definitely do this. All you're gonna need is some X-Acto blades and uh, like a black glove or something to attach it to, maybe some nylon bands too. Then hopefully later I'll be making the claws retractable once I've refined the design a little bit more, played around with these claws. Anyways, what do you say we go hop right into this build? So first one I'm gonna start out with is designing the claws themselves. Now I'm using a program called 123D Design. Um, yeah, it's 3D modeling software, free to download. I'm not going for 100% uh, replication of these claws, mainly because the way the claws are shaped, I don't see how that could actually be functional. Like the claws are like cone shaped, so I don't really see how those could be like sharp. Uh, I guess they could be pointy, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna use razor blades, so I'm gonna design the claws to fit with those. So once we have designed those claws, we can go ahead and export them to our 3D printer, uh, plug it in. I have a pretty small 3D printer, and even that just took like, printed a couple hours, so uh, very doable print. And of course, we're printing it in black filament to go with the Black Panther theme. Once it's finished printing, we just took it out of the bed, cleaned it up a little bit. And uh, actually decaled it a little bit with a silver sharpie. Um, just gave it some silver accents, which I think it look, makes it look really cool. And uh, if you'll notice, I left little slits in the tip, and that's where the blades are gonna go. You can pretty much use any sort of like X-Acto blade. Uh, I'm gonna be using like the snap-off ones. So take the blade, cut out your shape. I just cut these to probably about one and a half inches in length. Um, just kind of tapered them off to make them look like claws. When you're printing this, you can scale it up however much you want or scale it down however much you want based on the size of your hands. Um, I have relatively big hands, but honestly, like in the future, I'm probably gonna want to print these a little bit bigger as well. Uh, if I actually want the claws to slide inside of them and come out. As you can see, the way I did it was to include a little hook, little part at the end that will actually stick into the uh, 3D printed claw mounts that will later be attached to our gloves. And I just pretty much epoxied them. And all I did was heat them up a little bit to get them to fit inside the 3D printing because it was a little small. It's gonna end up pretty durable. Um, obviously, we're not gonna be able to do serious damage with these, but then again, like the housing itself is made of plastic, so if anything's gonna break, it's gonna be the 3D print and not the uh, bond between the blade and the 3D print, I don't think. So once we've got the claws uh, all glued up, it's time to mount them on the glove. I'm just using like a black garden glove. I might even throw my Iron Man light glove over the top of it, just 
it's just a pretty much just a light attached to a paintball glove um, just because I think it'd look pretty cool but yeah that stuff is optional you could even wear the claws without a glove but in the movie uh, he did have a whole like black suit pretty much that he wore along with the claws so to attach the claws to the gloves we're gonna be using a little bit of a nylon strap I'm just using like some thin I think like centimeter diameter Now if I do get around to editing the 3D model, I'll actually edit in slits, or you can do this yourself, but I forgot to put in slits on either side of the claws um, to allow the nylon to go through and down. So in yours, you probably won't have to deal with this, but for me, I actually had to cut some slits into the models themselves to, in order to fit in the nylon to get the straps to actually fit onto the, uh, the claws. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you some 3D printed Black Panther claws. And actually, if we go ahead and throw on the glove over top, the full Black Panther claws. Now, let me tell you guys, until you have claws, you never actually realize how fun it is to play with them. Like, you can just grab, like, flat surfaces and, like, stick it and, like, kind of hard to describe. You'll see, though. Quick rundown, though. Not too much to say about these that you didn't already see. Um, just pretty much 3D printed claw tips that we uh, stuck on a glove um, and then glued pieces of a razor blade, too. And we got a light in the palm uh, from just another project. You don't actually need this though. I also put the paintball glove over top um, just to kind of give it more of a uh, Black Panther type vibe. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Let's go cut some stuff. Let's see what happens to this box. Yeah. Claws are so fun, guys, seriously. Literally, like, you can catch something just by like just like grab hold like Look at that. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to catch stuff. You can just catch this by like. <laughs> Look at that. It's holy shit. <laughs> I'm holding it. It's like. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Got him. Lots of practical use too, like opening packages. You know, can't find a knife, just. Boom. Got it. Wonder what would happen if I wore my rainbow Assassin's Creed blade with these claws. That is a mean sight right there. Six blades, one hand. Oh, plus Wolverine claws. Literally 10 blades on a hand. I will say though, one thing about uh, these claws is playing catch is a little tough, especially with uh, inflatable balls. You see, when you try and catch it, you can get a grip of it, but if you squeeze just a little too hard, Just, just doesn't go well, you know? Yeah! Great grip though. They need, really need one finger to catch it. Yeah. All right guys, that has been this video. I hope you did enjoy it. As always, please leave a thumbs up if you did like it. Let's try and hit a couple thousand. A couple thousand for the Black Panther build. I think we can do it. Also, subscribe. I love like pointing with this. It's like <laughs> a little threatening. Definitely subscribe uh, for more cool builds like this. Uh, and also, hopefully for part two of this, when I make these retractable, that's the end goal. Remember, once again, links in the description. Uh, 3D model if you want to go print these out. Might do another build where you don't have to use a 3D printer. For those of you who don't have access to them, still want some claws, because honestly, like, Claws are freaking sweet. Like I didn't realize before I made these, but these are actually like a lot of fun to play with. But as I always say, you don't use them on people or anything like that. Not for any sort of harm. Be careful when you're using them. Not demonetizing this one. Also follow my Instagram down below. You would have seen this freaking sweet picture of uh, these claws. Let me know down in the description about uh, what you thought of the movie. Uh, if you liked it, anything else you want me to read, just comment down below. That is it for me, guys. Take it easy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
was just peeling some tape to cover up this yellow thing for a shot I was doing and uh, I was looking for a knife to cut the tape but like eh. 